can you tell that I have new merch that's coming out this week or like have I not made that clear because hi I finally have new merch coming out this week and these are two of the items that are a part of this launch but I'm gonna talk about that at a later date time and video because right now it's not about me it's about clothes and things that I've bought from other people not clothes and stuff that I'm selling just thought that'd be like a funny way to start the video I don't fucking know what a creative intro that I thought of while I've just been sitting in my room losing my mind over still not having my sweater it's fine I'm totally fucking fine I'm not going insane Basically, I did the damn thing again. I went on a very expensive shopping spree for like the second time in two months. Um, what the fuck is my problem? I don't know. I am going to Hawaii the week that this video is being uploaded. Shocking, yeah, I know. And after that, I'm going to LA for two weeks. So your girl really needed to freshen up her closet and her suitcase because when I went to Hawaii impulsively last month, um, that was a mess. Didn't really have time to shop or anything for it because I made the decision to go so impulsively. <sighs> So I have been very much ahead of the game this time before these trips. I just want to start off by showing you how massive the box is of all the stuff that I'm going to be showing you in this video is right now because I can't even pick it up. Hold on, let me just show you. Look, this is a big ass box of all the shit that I have bought within the last month. Oh my god. You've probably looked at the title, obviously, by now, and you're wondering, like, is this clickbait? Did she actually spend $4.2 thousand dollars? Um, I mean, like, obviously it's kind of clickbait. I mean, like, that's kind of how my channel works sometimes. Here's what happened two weeks ago when me and Sky went to the LF sale. Yeah, I can't make that up. She did ask spent 4.2 thousand fucking dollars on clothes from LF. So with the discount and everything and her total still being 4.2 thousand dollars was insane. That number wasn't entirely all of her. Some of that was mine, probably around like $300, which doesn't really do that much of an effect on 4.2. But yeah, I just wanted to use that as clickbait to pretend that I'm fucking rich because um, I'm not. Y'all already know what I'm about to say next though. So like, if you wanna beat me to it, go for it. I'll just sit here and wait. Yeah, you guessed it. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I love them so much. Thank you to Squarespace again for just sponsoring my whole life. At this point, I wouldn't be able to go on shopping sprees like this without them. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about them more at the end of the video. You already know the drill. I've done this a couple times now. So let's just get straight into my gigantic box of goodies. Let's start with all the stuff that I got from LF. Now I have so much shit in this box. So I'm gonna try to go through everything at a decent speed, but I might take a long time talking about this sweater because are we kidding? Look at this. It's a Flintstones vintage crew neck and and it was like $35 on the sale. It was normally $138. Like everything is so cheap from LF when they do the sale. Like hello Fruity Pebbles, that's all I'm gonna be eating every single time I wear this. Next, I just got this basic pink cami. You know, a staple essential. Probably gonna wear this a million times throughout the entire summer. You know, neon colors are so in right now, so we love that. Then I got a couple pairs of shorts because I just honestly don't go short shopping that much. It's kind of something that I always just like forget to do. I'm really bad at buying pants. I'm always focusing on tops so I got these distressed really fun really cute I got these which I am so excited about they have like this chain detailing on the side so you can be a little bit scandalous when you're at the beach or something I got these white shorts with black lining on them there is a giant circle chain attached to it I don't know I love when LF just attaches random chains and shit to their clothes because it just makes things ten times more fun you know and also ten times more the price for no reason but whatever I also got these white shorts they have more chain detailing on them I don't wear white shorts too often because I'm always scared that I'm gonna stain them so I'm not sure why I got two pairs but you know these shorts are normally $228 so you know with like a 70 to 80 percent discount you know I fucking hopped on that shit good quality nice looking fashionable shorts can be so expensive so whenever LF has a sale in the summer their shorts absolutely snap then I got one more pair of shorts they're these high-waisted black shorts with white detailing on them they have this cute little buckle on the front these are normally $168 they're a little bit distressed too, so cute as fuck. I also got this Walt Disney World Red Mickey crew neck. Hello! This is not something that I found at all when I was shopping at Disney World itself a couple weeks ago. Every single time I go to Disney World, I feel like they just don't update their inventory and they just have the shittiest sweatshirts ever. This makes up for my trip now, and now I have a really cute ass crew neck. I don't have that many crew necks either. I'm always buying sweatshirts, so I'm really stoked about my Disney and Flintstones crew neck. I also got this shirt that I've been nonstop wearing in videos lately. It's 
like a Pittsburgh Steelers shirt with like a skull rhinestone detailing on it. LF has a lot of rhinestone detailed shirts and I absolutely love that. They have such good t-shirts to be honest. Like I also got this Harley Davidson one. Super distressed, super vintage-y. Probably could not find this anywhere else besides them. I am a whore for oversized t-shirts that you can literally just wear as a dress and like you don't have to wear pants while wearing these shirts because you can't see if you're wearing pants anyways. You know, you just get to be like free willy when you're wearing these. That's what I've done. I've gone and gotten Starbucks and gone into way too many public places without pants lately because of these shirts. I also bought one more shirt from there and I was on a boat at my cousin's graduation party two weeks ago and my shirt flew off the boat and sunk to the bottom of the lake. I was super pissed about it. It was a really cute Superman shirt. I'm pretty fucking bummed about that because these shirts so expensive normally too. Life tip, if you are ever wearing a shirt on a boat, first off, don't because it might get soaked. And if it gets soaked, don't take your fucking shirt off even if you're freezing because it might fly off the boat if you're an idiot like me. <laughs> I literally got so many basic camis just because I seriously need to stock up on them. I feel like you can never have enough. I have another hot pink one. I have two tie-dye ones. I am obsessed with this. Tie-dye is so in right now. It's so pretty and like perfectly tie-dyed. I'm fucking obsessed with it. And then we have another one that's like just pink, orange, and yellow. So cute. They fit me so well. Kind of even make it look like I have boobs, which is always a plus. I don't know why I have like three pink camis. Honestly, some of these might even be skies at this point. Who knows? I have this coral cam. I have another coral tube top. Seriously think some of these might have gotten mixed up. I don't know why I have like 10 of the same things. They're just absolutely perfect to wear if like you're just trying to get out of the house really fast or it's really fucking hot out and you just want something cute to wear like super casually that can be dressed up and also just worn normally. I don't know. I think we all know how camis work. I also got these snakeskin pants. I honestly need more like comfy pants that I can just travel in or like lounge in. Brandy Melville literally has good pants like this but honestly they don't always fit me. We all know how Brandy Melville is with their sizing biker shorts are so in right now. I got a few of those between a few different stores. This is fluorescent orange and it's looking like coral on my camera. I don't know why, but um, it's fluorescent fucking orange. Always good with the big t-shirt. I've been wearing those nonstop when I do wear pants with big t-shirts like this or the camis. As much as I love when my ass is hanging out of my shorts on a normal basis, you know, it, it's okay to cover up sometimes, you know? Ooh, I got these red cheetah print sleep shorts. I do not have enough sleep shorts. I've been having a crisis lately where I've just been sleeping naked constantly which is not a problem but you know I definitely am concerned when it comes to traveling that I don't have enough clothes to um, cover myself when I'm trying to fucking sleep. They're normally a hundred and eight dollars which is absolutely ridiculous for just comfy flowy shorts. Very stoked I didn't end up paying that price because these honestly should be like fifteen dollars at most. I am such a hoe for the color red. I found this long sleeve like scrunched up top that would look so good with like light wash boyfriend jeans. It's just so cute. It's like what all the Instagram baddies are wearing these days. The last thing I ended up getting from LF is this basic tank top. Has this little funky design going on in the front. And kind of has like a hole for like your tits so that if you wear a bra under this, you can have major cleavage showing, which we love. If you wear like a push-up bra or something under it, it looks like you naturally have really big perky tits, which um we definitely don't have here in this household. Definitely did some damage at LF during this season sale for goddamn sure. But I'm pretty stoked with everything I got, so I'm not complaining. Next, let's move on to fashion. Nova. I just got a huge box of stuff from them. I realized that I didn't really have any sandals or anything for the summer, which is definitely a must-have when I'm constantly in Hawaii. I didn't really know that Fashion Nova had such good shoes and such good quality shoes, but um, hi, they do. Y'all know I love me some sparkles, so I found these sandals that have like little gems all around them, which I think are so cute. It's always good to size up when you're getting sandals because for some reason they just, I feel like they fit differently compared to like normal shoes. Normally I'm a size nine, but I got a size 10 and everything in Fashion Nova and they fit perfectly. These are perfect for like the beach or even dressing up. Then I got these rose gold flip flops. They are just white and rose gold. I got these black strappy sandals too because I like literally don't have any sandals at all. And I once again needed kind of like cute dressy ones. I also got these. I cannot find them at the time of me filming this video because I cannot stop wearing them. You guys, you're never gonna see the end of the shoe. This is the most amazing sandal that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I swear to God, if I was a fucking sandal, this is what I would look like. Honestly, when I drive my car and I'm wearing these sandals, I'm not even staring at the road. I'm staring at my feet. It's becoming a safety hazard because I could crash my car at any second because these sandals are just so fabulous. TVH, if you're going to get anything from this haul, I really think you should get these. My dog is knocking on my door. Say hi to my shellfish. 
Next, I found this gem on the t-shirt section of Fashion Nova and I nearly like shit myself on the spot. I'm like tearing up looking at this right now. It's a large in sync shirt that says bye bye fucking bye and has all of them on it. I think I'm in love. I genuinely think I found love and it's this t-shirt. Next, I got two pairs of like these type of shorts because you can never have enough of these. Perfect for sleeping. I got it in gray and red. Probably gonna order more at some point. I already have black and blue versions of these so I almost have the whole rainbow at this point. Is that the rainbow is like four colors? I told myself I wasn't gonna actually do shopping besides getting like shorts and sandals on Fashion Nova but that didn't happen. I got this hot pink lace bodysuit that has like a cupped bra on it. I'm gonna look amazing in the club in LA like before you know it. This style of bodysuit is so in right now and it has like lace and everything on it. Honestly it's like the whole package. I think I got this for like ten dollars. Then I got this very glittery black bodysuit that's currently making a mess all over my floor. Oh my god it looks amazing on the camera. Hello. But yeah it's lace and it just has glitter all over it. Hi this is the most perfect thing I've ever seen in my life and now I'm gonna put it on my bed and just completely destroy my bed. I got two more pairs of bike shorts from there. I got these hot pink ones and these hot orange ones. Once again why does it look coral on my camera? I kind of forgot that I already got orange ones from LF. Kind of wish I got a different color like green or purple or something but whatever. Super good quality. These are like 20 bucks on Fashion Nova. I'm gonna go order like all the colors like probably after I film this video. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these pink ones non-stop soon to the point where you guys are like begging me like Caitlin get other fucking clothes like you need to wear something other than those. Then I got some lingerie from Fashion Nova but um you don't need to see that. Also got some of that from Victoria's Secret and some underwear which you also don't need to see so we're gonna skip right on to what I got from Tiger Mist. So the purple dress that I wore to Ariana Grande the other day I got from Tiger Mist. I got everything from there in an extra small because I followed the size chart but honestly I wish I sized up on everything. The dresses are kind of hard to get into especially this black one that I got. It is so cute on but it takes forever to get on because it really does not fit that well. You know solid color dresses like this you can literally wear to anything so they're just good to have when you're traveling because you never know where you're gonna end up and when you need to look like a half decent human. I also got this white leather zip up skirt because I don't have any skirts and I love the fit of these type of skirts. I'm not really a denim skirt kind of girly but leather yeah right up my alley. Once again two things that I'm gonna overwear the fuck out of when I'm traveling. Then I went on Amazon and I ordered a 30 pack of scrunchies because you cannot have enough of these. There's one for every single color in this. I'll link it in the description below but I officially have like a color scrunchie to match every single outfit like I will ever wear in my life. That was like porn. Like that was so fantastic. Like I'm gonna cry like tears of happiness just shoving all these scrunchies back in the bag. I really suggest you get one of these packs from Amazon because they're like $10 for 30, 40 scrunchies. It's crazy. Last things I got were bikinis sent to me for my favorite swimsuit companies. I am obsessed with Black Bow and Polani Kinis. When I lived in Hawaii this was like all I was wearing so I was so stoked when they said they would send me more stuff for my trip again. Black Bow sent me two bikinis. They sent me this white one. It's like a little bit of a boxy top. They all fit so well by the way. Like if you go on my Instagram I have all my bikinis pretty much tagged and they're seriously all either one of these two companies. So I got this one and the bottoms are like high rise. Such good quality by the way guys. I know these bikinis can be a little bit pricey but if you're looking for something like a bit more high quality and longer lasting than Zaffle bikinis which are still amazing. You should definitely check out these companies. And then they sent me this like red cupped outline bikini. I fucking love red and I fucking love high waisted bikinis. Can't wait to wear this on 4th of July at the beach when I'm swimming in the ocean with all the turtles watching the fireworks. You know just another day. Kulani bikinis always hooks it up. They always send me so much stuff. They sent me this red cheetah print bikini. This is kind of like sports bra shaped and they also sent me the high waisted bottom. I also got this neon orange like sports bra. Once again why the fuck is the orange showing up so weird on my camera? Sports bra kind of shape top and then also the high waisted matching bottoms. Then there's this bikini which I am obsessed with the fit of. If I'm gonna suggest any of their bikinis to you it's definitely the ones that are <laughs> like this. They have like a braid on the side of them which is so cute. The detailing is amazing and the top is so cute too. The fit of this bikini is so perfect. Guys I'm so excited to just go fucking wear these. Like I just want to get on my flight right now and just wear this the whole way to Hawaii. They also sent me another bikini that's the same style as that. It is a brown animal print. Oh my god it's so fucking sexy. It looks like I'm going to like a Las Vegas pool party when I wear this. I like the fit of this top better than the sports bra looking ones. This makes my small ass tits look really good somehow and they also sent me this skirt that ties on the side of your waist and completely matches the bikini. It is so sexy. You have no idea. I feel like when you take pictures on the beach and everything with like a skirt and a matching bikini it just makes the picture so much better and so much more exciting. Minnie what are you doing? 
Are you leaving me? The last two things I got from Kiwanakinis is this striped bikini, which has like the same top as the last bikini I showed you. Looks so good on. I love the color scheme we have going on with this. And then I also got this like purpley blue shade. I don't know what color this is, honestly. Also the same cut as the other bikinis and also has high-waisted bottoms. Do we think I got enough? Do we think I'm ready to leave my house? I don't know. I honestly don't know at this point. That's everything I got for my trips for the next month. I'll be at VidCon next month too, by the way, guys, in case you didn't already know this I know that I posted it um on Twitter when that was still a thing in my life it's going to be a thing again in my life soon you know I'm gonna make sure I get that shit back but I've also posted it on Instagram too but in case you've missed it I'll be there I want to meet you guys if you're gonna be at VidCon or in the area definitely make sure to like keep up with my social medias the ones that I have left and yeah I'll post at like some point where you can meet me and my friends and all that shit I'm going with like my whole friend group I'm so excited hopefully I'll go to Disneyland I don't really know though I really don't like Disneyland as much as I like Disney World and I feel like every single time I go to Disneyland I'm like cheating on Disney World. It's like when you're hooking up with the boy, but you know you can do so much better, but like you stoop to that level anyways. Like I feel like that's my relationship with Disneyland. Like when I'm there, I'm like, wow, like this is fine and everything like temporarily, but like why aren't I giving myself what I deserve? Why am I not at Disney World? You know, weird um analogy right there, but just fucking deal with it. Sorry, this is what you signed up for. You know what else you should sign up for while you're at it? Squarespace. I have built a blog through Squarespace right now and I'm trying to post on it more actively. It's CaitlinRay.com if you want to go check it out. I am all for sharing about my life and just constantly typing and writing and sharing random shit with you guys. If you guys are ever looking to build a website too, you should definitely use Squarespace. It's an all-in-one platform that can be used to build a website, blog, an online store. You can use it to do literally whatever you need to. There's so many amazing templates on that website that are there ready for you to use and to customize to your own liking. I am definitely not one for HTML coding and all that stuff, so I use one of their templates and I think my blog is pretty, pretty snazzy right now. I personally think it would be a really good idea for you guys to build a blog from Squarespace because, I don't know, I feel like keeping like a diary and everything can be like so time consuming and like who uses their hand to write on paper anymore? Like, hello, so old fashioned. I really think it could be beneficial for you guys to just like have a blog and like a safe space where you can just like post what's going on in your life, reflect on it you know grow like just see how you evolve as a person over time because that's what i'm doing with my blog and i really feel like it could help you guys out a lot if you're ready to build your own website go to squarespace.com for your free trial today and then when you're ready to launch your website go to squarespace.com slash caitlin Ray to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or a website once again thank you to squarespace couldn't have done this without them please make sure to like comment and subscribe and yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching peace out